watery eye as always. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, I hope you're all doing well. So today I am going to do a little recreation slash reaction to my first ever YouTube video. Now I have been on YouTube for just a little over a year now, first uploaded back in January 2017, I can't remember the exact date, I think it was about the 14th, I've come leaps and bounds since then, so I thought I'd do a nice little recreation of the video. Now my first video was titled quick and easy for lawless face for beginners so first I'm gonna watch the video do a little reaction to it and then I'm gonna recreate and um, with an updated version of how I do a flawless face now. So if you would like to see how to achieve that then please stay tuned. I think I was telling everyone there I've already done my eye makeup. I had this whole spiel about good skin prep, ready to go, and I shit out and couldn't talk in front of the camera, I was so nervous. Oh god, colour corrected, you know what, I honestly don't think I've colour corrected since about this video. Just don't bother with it anymore. And I'm putting green on basically nothing. There was like no spots there at all. What is this music, honestly? It's like a scary film. Clearly didn't know how to edit it yet. Just left everything in. Oh, my crown brush concealer palette. Got to conceal over that colour corrector. Oh, I thought this was absolutely incredible at the time, and it is so funny to look back now. It's only 12 months different to how different I do makeup. Well, I think I was supposed to put professional on before I started anything, and I completely forgot. Makeup Forever HD Foundation, one of my all-time hated foundations. I do not like that foundation at all. It's not good for like a full coverage. And someone like me, who's got like a dot to dot going on, needs a full coverage. Layering foundation, that's a good start. You need to layer that foundation if you like a full coverage. It's funny because the stick foundation is really full coverage, but the, the liquid's just enough. Oh, my collection concealer. That concealer is brilliant. That is a really good concealer. If you are on a budget, the collection Last and Perfection concealer is really good. I think I mentioned it in my last video, actually. The colour is quite good as well. At least I'm highlighting. I knew what I was doing there. I think I'm digging in that hard. I have just like picked up all the foundation underneath. Oh Lord of mercy, that is a brilliant powder. I need to rebuy that powder. Dan first got me it as a birthday present. And I've just not really gone out my way to get it again, but it is unreal. Oh, what happened to the colour? must have moved. That is a big brush. Why am I just flicking powder all over the floor? What the hell? Oh benefit hula. I still have got I've still got that actually. I've just took it out the box. It is a really good bronzer when you're super pale and Casper-like. Again, with the powder flicking on the floor, what the hell? And the music's gone. I think. Yeah, the music's gone. Just silence. Although back then I didn't have to disguise this thing. It's a bit skinnier then. Had a bit more of a jawline to work with. Another good palette if you're on a budget, the NYX Contour Palette. At least I know about bronzing and contouring. Yep, gotta sharpen up that jawline. I still to this day use this palette in every video and I'm going to use it today as well. 
more than nine in. It's gonna last me a lifetime, I don't think I'm ever gonna get through it. What the hell? Where has that just come from? And why have I only got a tiny bit of the song? I don't even remember doing that. And that's it? No highlight? No highlight? What? Oh, Gail. No, no, no. Well, now that that's out the way, I'm now going to go ahead and do a updated version of my flawless base. So, here we go. So today I am going to prime my skin, sort of. I'm going to take my MAC strobe cream in pink light. I'm just going to pop that on to create a nice glowy base. Now, I don't tend to prime my skin very often. I'm not usually a huge fan. I don't see benefits of primer with my skin. I do tend to use professional every now and then just because I am very sort of porous in these areas and sometimes I just like to fill that in if I'm feeling extra holy. So we're not doing colour correcting this time, I don't bother with colour correcting anymore, I don't really. I've never come across a time I need to use it even on clients, sort of just a foundation and a concealer works quite well. So if colour correcting works for you, fantastic, or it just does not work for me at all. So I'm going to do a mixture of foundations today, I'm going to take a touch of my Maybelline Superstay 24 hour in the shade number 5 light beige and then I'm going to take a touch of my Too Faced Born This Way in porcelain. Now if you're not into full coverage you are on the wrong channel because we are full coverage queens. So I also just like to paint that on the skin with a foundation brush. So once I have covered the skin and I'm happy with it, I'm just going to take my sponge and just start buffing that into the skin. And if you've got any areas, you know, of concern that you want to build up, just if you've got any foundation left, just go in and build up the coverage. Okay, next stage, I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Fair and I'm just going to pop that on to highlight and conceal the under eyes. Popping it on the under eye, you want to take a concealer that's one to two, maybe three shades at the maximum lighter than your skin tone. It's hard sometimes for me to get a concealer that is two to three shades lighter because most of my foundation shades are the lightest shade anyway. So you want to highlight the areas that you want to bring forward, sort of where the sun naturally hits as well. So obviously you want to brighten up your under eyes to stop that looking so sunken. With your like the centre of the forehead down the bridge of the nose, the cupid's bow and the chin, you want those to stand out more than the rest of the areas of the face. It makes sense to me, hopefully it makes sense to you. So now that that's on, I'm going to take my sponge again and just blend that out. I, can you see that? Just why? Why do this to me? So next step is some cream contouring slash bronzing. L'Oreal Infallible Stick Foundation. Now this is, I've got the shade 220 Toffee Caramel. So just like to take a bit of the stick and just run that on the cheekbones, jawline and a bit on the temples. Blend that out, I'm just going to take this Morphe G34 brush. Now just to set my highlighted areas, I'm going to take a touch of my RCMA No Colour Powder and just on this Peaches and Cream PC02 brush, I'm just going to pack that onto the under eyes. 
So my camera cut out, but I have gone ahead and just baked underneath my contour line using my Morphe sponge. Now this just sort of cleans up that area, so in case any colour has fell down so the line's uneven or it looks a bit muddy, just sort of cleans that area up to create a nice cheekbone effect. So next we're going to go in with bronzers and I'm going to take my MAC Minimalized Skin Finish Bronzer in the shade Medium Tan and I'll be using that on this Peaches and Cream PC03 brush, just this nice fluffy brush. So do you just like to bronze sort of in circular motions and bring it onto the apple and the cheek a little bit and on the temples and just like to soften the edge sort of bringing it up around the apples in my cheeks just so it's not just like a harsh stop then just to deepen that up ever so slightly more I'm going to take this shade from the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit and just on this Morphe R13 sort of pointed contour brush and just focus that sort of more towards the ear just to deepen that contour I don't know if you can see Then just whatever excess is on the brush, I haven't dipped my brush back in, I just like to bring a touch of dimension back to my nose because at the moment it's just lying flat against the skin. So I just like to lightly run that up the sides and it probably doesn't make any difference at all but to me I can see a difference. So now that that sort of area is all done, I just like to take my Zoeva 126 Lux Cheek Finish Brush and just lightly dust away the face. And if once you dust it away, there is a sharp line there, I just sort of go over it and just soften it back up. Just blend it back out so there's not just a harsh stop. So now I am actually going to go in with a touch of blush and I'm going to take my Morphe 9M blush palette, of course, the exact same one I used in the last video. And I just like to use sort of an angled contour brush for my blush. This is a Crown C405 contour brush. And I've done it before so I'll do it again. I do just like to take a mixture of anything in this palette. I'm not too fussy with it, just tap it off. Just focus that on the apples and my cheeks. And I do like to sort of stipple that on, so sort of tapping it on and not just wiping it. Sort of control the colour a little bit better I find. I'm probably talking out my ass, but this side's looking a little bit more brighter so I'm just going to go in my sponge again and just lightly tap it over just to bring it back. Okay and now for the stage that I completely missed out last time and I have no idea why, shame on 2017 me. Of course it is highlight and I will be going in with my Nikki Tutorials and Ofra highlight in glazed donut. Just taking this on this Morphe brush, this is from the Eye Credible set. That's way too big for anyone's eye to blend, in my opinion. So this is my new highlighter brush. But I just like to take a touch of highlight, and you do need only a touch with this one. Just run it along the high points of the cheek. Just look. Ooh. Then hitting the cupid's bow. That's my favourite place to highlight. I don't know why, I just think it adds so much to your, to your makeup look once that's highlighted. Tip of the nose and then just sort of right up here on the bridge of the nose. Then I do sort of like to run a little bit above my eyebrows, again just tapping it back with my finger just to make sure it's blended in. And then I also like to highlight my chin. Okay so I've just quickly popped on some lips, this is the Primark PS Instagirl Intense Liquid Lipstick in the shade like that and I've just popped on the Primark Crushed Metallic Lipstick in pink over the top. Primark lip glosses by the way, unreal so if you've not got your hands on any grow and grab some. I'm thinking of doing a little sort of review on Primark lip glosses if you're interested in that then make sure and let me know down below. But the final step to a flawless base of course is the setting spray. So I'm just going to take my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I'm just going to spritz that all over to make sure everything stays in place. 
Okay, so that is the finished look on my updated sort of flawless skin routine, flawless base for beginners, I can't remember what it was called. Thank you so much for watching this video and thank you so much for everyone that's watched any of my videos before, ever since that very first one a year ago, over a year ago now. I absolutely love making my videos and I hope to God you all love watching them, so thank you so much to everybody and thank you very much for watching this video and I hope to see you again soon. Bye bye!